up, YouTube? My name is Basil. I'm Rob. I'm Ed. And today we're doing a FUMA review. This is an orb on the bottom and an F4 on top. Uh, we're really just going to be reviewing FUMO all together in one. Uh, today we're smoking Hookafina pineapple. Where's our little can? It's over there. It ah. comes in a little tin can, uh, really easy to store. Um, this is the setup that you get with it. Come with it is the screen slash wind cover, tongs, uh, glass hose or metal hose, and no blow off valve, sadly. Uh, we picked this up at World Tobacco. He's having a, a little Halloween sale, and uh, he's got a few in stock, so if you want to go pick one up, you can pick one up from him. If you're out of state, you can pick one up from thehookah.com. Uh, we'll do a close-up of the hookah, and we'll get, get right get back to it. it. Okay, as you can see, at the bottom of the valve stem, it actually has a built-in diffuser. Um, there's like six holes. I like on how the draw is created from the diffuser. Then we go all the way up. This is the valve stem is actually, I mean, down stem is actually a different piece than from up here. So it's just a whole bunch of different pieces. There is no valve stem. It's a little plug. Then it goes up to another chamber. It's completely weird on how this diameter is way different than this vat this part of the down stem. They are two different they are from two different hookahs. That's kind of why, but you can see that this and this they do fit together so you can kind of customize your hookahs. Um, and then you got the bowl which is actually two different pieces. The screen slash wind cover, this piece comes off. I'm not gonna touch it, it's real hot. Um, the glass hose with the grade A silicone and the tongs that come with it. And they even got their logo a little blasted on the side. And this hose has a, it's actually really thin rubber, but it actually has this coil that goes all the way around it, what makes it very, very flexible compared to the other stiff hoses. It makes it very unique, sets it apart from others. This is their tip. It's actually pretty thick glass and it's, a, it's overall pretty clean design. I think overall it's about five millimeters thick, uh, maybe seven in some places, especially like right here. Uh, where I'll back up, show you how it hits, and we'll get a little bit more in depth on it. All right, so now we're back. Um, now we're gonna rate it from smokeability for me, design from Ed, and last but not least, uh, if it's worth your money. So the smokeability, um, well, I want to see that for the smokeability. Um, it's definitely uh, not restricted, obviously because of the screen. Um, no one really uses foil nowadays. Um, I would prefer using the Lotus. The it's, Lotus does not fit on this bowl. Yeah, that's the only issue. Just in case you guys are wondering. Um, honestly, I'm not amazed by it. I, I just don't see, I mean, it's it's a glass hookah, don't get me wrong, they're, they're amazing. I just don't see it standing out just like any other. Um, it still tastes clean just like any other glass hookah. Um, and I would rate, I would say like, honestly a 7. Because it doesn't give me that wow factor of, I mean, it does deliver the clouds. It just doesn't amaze me and put me to the next level of another amazing product. And that's what I'm looking for. I definitely agree. It does smoke well, but I mean, it doesn't smoke like everyone thinks Fumo oh, is the best. I, I'm thinking it, it's really, really good, but it's it's definitely my top two in smokeability. Uh, it draws really nice. Yeah. You can actually go to World Tobacco if you're hung up on a few, and they'll actually let you try it, which is really cool. That's what we did, and then we decided to purchase one because it does hit. It does hit really well, so. It's nothing. There's no negatives about it. It's just it's not, there's no wow factor. So let's go back to design. Overall, it's a very simple design. It's it's a unique hookah. I I don't like how they actually. It's like more like a circle or an oval kind of shape. I don't really like it that much. It almost reminds me of like a bottom of a bowling pin. Yeah, We're actually yeah, going to do the does. design more on just the bottom part because that's just one hookah by itself. We actually customized it and add this F4 part, which is really cool that you can customize and mix, mix and match their parts. They make sell it, them online. Make it personal. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
and I don't like on how it's just a simple plug. There is no purge valve, so when it does get harsh, you have to go like this, and you can blow a little O's, like Basil's doing here. Uh, we're gonna put that back in, and uh, out of one out of one to ten on design, I'm just gonna give it a six because it's you gotta it's, add at least a point for these cool tongs. That uh, it's a unique way. It's, I don't understand why they made them like this. They are the only hookah though that comes with tongs. You're all set to go. When you buy a Fumo, you are ready to go. The only thing we need is flavor and coal and water. Yeah. And at World Tobacco right now, they're actually giving it to you for free for their uh, October, November sale, whatever it is. I think it's a Halloween sale. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot, forgot the hose. The hose is a huge design. I actually really, really, really like this like hose. It. It's, it's not stiff, so yeah, I'm able to move it all around. And it doesn't kink because of this this coil that's happening, you have to you have to completely go like that in order for it to kink, which why why would you smoke a hookah like this? It's not gonna work. But it's overall a, a great piece and it looks like it's very durable. You could curl it up, it's not like that stiff, thick silicone hoses. It's it's in its, it's own a pretty category. good design. It's, it's a, it's a seven out of ten is solid, that's probably what I'd give it to. I mean it is really good. We just smoked a lot of really good hookahs, so this one is to par with them, but exactly. not over, you know. Um, we are going to do, our next review is going to be a Fumo Versa Vu. So, you'll be able to see, like, which one smokes better, and you guys can decide for yourself which one you guys want. Um, you know, like you said, basically, um, it's average glass hookah to me. Especially since we get to get our hands on these beautiful, amazing hookahs that are just extravagant. And then we go back to one of these. This is this just reminds me of it. Uh, uh, one of the first uh, glass hookahs. Um, now, just like every other company, they're stepping up the game. So I believe Fumo that... Fumo hasn't you know, came out with some new designs in a while. But, yeah. you know, their old designs are selling like crazy. I mean, you got stars smoking them, like Drake and stuff. So Just like they say, just keep it simple sometimes. Maybe it does work out. I mean, just like at In-N-Out, just burger, fries, and drinks. Not like McDonald's where they're selling a million things. And yeah. it's really not that good, obviously. All right, well, make up. Wait, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Let me go back to, if you like the design, go ahead, buy it. But personally, me, I do not like it. So just uh, keep that in mind. Don't discourage it just because I don't like it. Yeah. So for price point, um... I think it's a little pricey to be quite honest. For this setup, roughly, I think it'd be around four hundred dollars. Three, it's got to be over three fifty. Um, if you break this hose, I think it's sixty to ninety dollars per place, which is it's a pretty cool hose, but I don't. Yeah, remember. it's not ninety dollars, <laughs> hundred dollars, whatever they're charging for it. The orb by itself, just this bottom <coughs> piece, is. Roughly around 310 315 depending where you go. Um, we found the best prices. We're at World Tobacco, the hookah. Um, so that's where we picked it up. Uh, this top part, I think, was $60. So altogether, you're looking at like a $400 hookah. 375 at the best. So, I mean, that's quite pricey. And quick question, I mean, what other hookahs do you get for $400? I mean, you can get almost any of yeah. them. So, uh, but, you know, if you are, there are a lot of Fumo fans. And I understand why. They smoke really well. But price point, you know, I don't think it's really there. But there are still those Fumo fans. And I would probably give it a 12 out of 20. I think it, I think it does really hit well. And it is really good, especially if you're... Like willing to smoke a if you want to smoke like one of the original glass hookahs, but to me I don't know what do you guys think? Twelve. Wait, let me, Twelve is good. Let me get it. This is ninety bucks just for the tip or the whole hose. The whole hose. So, are you, can you buy the hose separate from the tip? No, you have to buy it with the tip. They also have metal tips, which I would. They definitely recommend getting. That's uh, probably a smart move, especially, especially when you're passing, passing yeah. around. And, Boom. You, and you've had a few drinks with all your friends. <laughs> Laying it, it will drop. So I think this metal. diffuser though is the best diffuser. Yeah. I mean the way this thing hits is very, very, very distinct. Yeah. Like you smoke this, you know it's a fumo. 
and the flavor is definitely there, yeah. if not a little bit more than other ones. But to me, for the orb by itself, I think it's a good deal at 300 But when you, if you want to customize it and stuff, it does get real pricey. And then I know they are really good about warranty. So you know what? Because I know if you have stress fractures or something, they'll work with you. I'm going to go up to a 15 just because customer service is really big for us. Yeah. I don't want to spend all this money on a glass hookah. Something goes wrong with it and Coke the company just blows you off, you right. know? So um, I'm going to give it a 15. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're at 7, 7, 15. Yeah. We're at 29. 29. I think it's 29 is a little low for this. I'd probably bump mine up and say overall it's probably around a 31, 32. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely it's definitely right there with all the other ones, you know. Um, it's not like I don't recommend buying it. We just are more fascinated and more futuristic I, hookahs. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're, you're a simple to, design yeah. person, you'll love this though. And that's why these Fumos, I mean, if you can find a Fumo... I would get it just to have it because they're hard to find. I know Fumo's got like a three week back order. So if you can find one to buy one, buy it because no one else can get them right now. It is so. distinct. Yeah. And example, three week back order. They're big for some reason because it is a great hookah. Yeah. For s some people like different tastes. That's why there's different cars. Exactly. So on and so yeah. forth. So, all together, we're going to give this 31, is that fair? 31, I'll, I'll give it a 31. All right. Yeah, that's not pretty fair. So, uh... Don't get discouraged. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Honestly, the way to do this is go to World Tobacco if you're in Los Angeles and try the different hookahs. Yeah. He has a Roy, he has a Fumo, I think he even has an art hookah that he'll let you guys try. And you guys can decide for yourself, you know? I recommend a lot of hookahs. I recommend almost all of the ones we've smoked, but it's up to you guys. You guys have to be the deciding factor, especially when you're spend three hundred, four hundred dollars on one. Just coming so, from people that are experienced with hookahs, especially it's, black. it's just. If I would have got like this thing, out there. if I would have got this thing as my first glass hookah, though, I would have been blown away. I smoked a KM like a week ago, and I couldn't do it. If I would have smoked this as my first hookah. My first glass hookah, I would have been enamored. I would have always bought Fumo. And honestly, I will pick up another Fumo after I smoke this. Because it is a very unique smoke. It does hit different. Just the design aspects, they are very simple. So if you're a simplistic person who wants a crazy design, this isn't for you. But if you're simplistic and like your hookah is hitting very smoothly and... Just simple to set up and simple to clean. Yeah, but this is you. It's good, yeah. easy. Super maintenance. easy to clean too. You just dump it out. Some of these hookahs you gotta shake for twenty minutes. Yeah, and so. glass you don't need any grommets. As you can see, this has it's grommetless. Just and frosted there's no tips. leaks. No leaks at all. The the frosted tips actually make it waterproof. I mean, not airproof. <laughs> so now it you, you get a better draw out of any other metal one because the grommets do leak no matter what you do to them. You, it, except if you glue them together. So th this is a great piece, and that's why we stay with glass hookahs, just because of they they do so much work with it. With like metal, you can't really do this much, or people haven't yet, and it just makes it so unique. I do really like this glass or this screen. I don't like it as much as the Lotus because I can't really manage the heat as well. But if I got this with my hookah, you know, I'd be set. I wouldn't have to spend any more money on any other accessories anything so it's definitely better than foil yeah a lot better than foil so pick it up at world tobacco the hookah i think they're the only authorized dealers as of right now to my notice anyway and uh check out our new review coming soon lavu against fumo that should be interesting see who wins all right so like comment subscribe get on that instagram twitter facebook tc thousand we're out you got me so wild Deny